One, two, yes. Wonderful. You are looking live at the Royale Cheese Arena, the most hallowed of arenas in hockey question mark. As we prepare for the playoffs once again here on Friday Night Hockey as the HQML Season 10 starts to draw to a close. It has been a season of ups and downs and somebody's got to come away with victory. We've got a best of five for you tonight between two fantastic teams as the Freedom Commies here to take on Seuss is Loose. We are about ready to get underway with that. They'll probably be waiting on me to reset the server, which I will do shortly. I am Winners with the One. I'm here with Ayla, and we are proud to be bringing you this eSports event. It is going to be esports as fuck. That's how we do it here on IBN. And the game has been reset. See the teams leave and get back on board. And we'll see who they bring tonight. It's both of these teams. Uh, taking different routes to get here now freedom commies were at the top of the division pretty much all season long and have carved their way into the playoffs with their performance throughout the regular season and their attendance that's a big part of hql seuss is loose it took a more indirect route as they had to really fight their way in they they were the winners of the three-way Texas Chainsaw Punjabi Nightmare Death Battle to get that last playoff spot, and they got in. And here they are as a result. So it should be an interesting series. So this is at least a good team. And Freedom Commies, of course, have really made a name for themselves throughout this Season 10 of HQML. So we'll see. This is why we play the games. To determine who will advance. The Knights of Jerusalem got past the Pugbenders last week in a best of five. If you saw that one, if you didn't, oh man, you should go back and check it out on the IBN Casting YouTube as it was an incredible series. Pugbenders had them up by two games. It was 2 nothing, And Nice Jerusalem came back to win the final three and take the best five and make their way to the finals. This was a team that had hoped to really take it all the way in season nine, the abbreviated season nine. Kind of held them back a little bit. And so a team of destiny, they're hoping. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about here in chat. It's probably best I don't. But it looks like that is going to be your lineup for the Freedom Commies in their traditional red. Well, they just lost one. So we'll go ahead and give you in blue it is going to be Seuss's Loose. Nargi Luhu, Zizzy Zaz, Ziggy Zaz Fossil, excuse me, I want to make sure I get these names right, The Grinch, and Yertle the Turtle. And in red, of course, the Freedom Commies, KHL, <laughs> KHL Killer, oh, that's great. Boot in a Tree, <laughs> Dick McBoobits, and Yimasov. I believe it's Sammy, spelled backwards with an OV. Very Russian. 
So here we go. The opening face-off has taken place, and this game is underway. And it's best of five. Chance already shot. What a save. Oh, man. As Sam I am is there with Nargilu who. That's Nargila. He's a solid goalie. And on the other side, a big stop as well from Yimasov, a.k.a. Sammy. I'm just going to go with the names they have assigned themselves this evening as part of the part of the proceedings. But yes, this is Hockey Question Mark. It is a free-to-play game. It is made by Cryptic C. You can get it at HockeyQuestionMark.com, and you totally should. It is a lot of fun. It is the world's only, to my knowledge, first-person hockey simulator. And in this version, unlike any other, unique to all leagues and tournaments and competitive play. What if 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 Seuss is loose loses in three or four games, that means Puck Puckbusters is third place, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can tell your parents you made it to third place. That that's uh a fine accomplishment. But yeah, th this uses, uh, what I was going to say is that this version uses the goalie mod, which allows goalie to, uh, the goalie's position to make full body stops. This, uh, usually all you can use is, is the stick to make saves, but in the version that we are running, Kind of gives the goalies a little bit of extra. But sometimes that can be deceiving. We saw at least one goal last week where they went five hole. You know, five hole does work. I see that tonight. Shot on score! Dick McBoobitz with the assist from KHL Killa. It makes it one to nothing. What a play. Wow. Yes, very well yes. played. Wow. <laughs> yes, wow. <laughs> oh, we're doubling up on the wows lately, yes. That's the first score of the game goes to the Freedom Commies, the veteran, Dick McButts. But here's a chance for Susan Lewis on the wraparound. Not quite a wraparound, but coming in from the side. And yeah, that one, as Rissless Hip Off is pointing out, did hit the post. So a tough attempt there for Seuss is Loose. But still a minute 50 left here in the first period. Chance possibly as Freedom Commies on the attack again. Seuss is Loose will get this back. Now up to Ziggy Zaz Fossil. Nice move to get around one. Now the other snaking his way through the shot. The score off the rooftop and in. What a shot by Ziggy Zaz Fossil with an assist from Sam I Am. How about that? For sure. For sure. And we are tied at one with that goal from Seuss is Loose. Here in this game one of the best of five tonight. Yeah, best of five is a is a long hard road. Admittedly, I think sometimes in the past we've done best of threes and then best of five for the final. I'm not sure. It's you'd have to go back in the historical archives to know for sure. But I know that uh, Debezi said uh, he'd rather it be best of three in the playoffs, and maybe maybe in the future. But it's like, hey, hold on, wait a minute. If it would have been best of three, then uh, the Pugbenders would have won that series. But <laughs> under the rules this year, it was not. And what a play right there as the Grinch popping one off the back into the front. Ziggy Zaz Fossil. You got to love those kind of goals. Man, oh, man. And so Freedom Commie's trying one now. This blocked. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that lately. 
And just slam one from behind the net onto the boards. And then use the momentum from that to hope that it lands right in front of the net. When it does, you have somebody there to pull the trigger. They did, it worked. And the lead has been taken by Seuss's Loose at the end of the first period as we go into the second. Good stuff so far from both of these teams. And if you're a wagering person, not sure who you might want to, to put money on, both these teams with uh, solid scorers, pretty good defense, and just great goaltending. They, like I said, they will be helped out by the use of the goalie mod. But this will go in front. Chance shot wide. And KHL Killa up at the point. We'll take this move through. Looks for the pass. Tries to thread the needle with it. But it will get away from him. And now so Sam I am. Getting away from him as well. Putin a tree is here. That is of course Crab. One of the heroes of the LHL Season 10. Edmonton won. Congratulations to them for their championship victory. They took the LHL championship in seven games against Boston. A Boston team that people thought from the beginning of the season were probably the favorites to win. It was an amazing series, some amazing playoffs this season for LHL. When we covered that, you can... See those on the Digital Gaming League on Tuesday night. So he tries to take this one point blank in. Sammy holds his ground and makes the same. Or Yemisov. I, I did say I was going to use the the communist uh, names that they're using. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, the Freedom Commies in a similar situation to, to Boston as they pretty much stayed at the top of the table for most of the season if not all of it and we're probably the odds on favorites on paper here in HQML but paper is one thing and performance on the ice is another you, know, you gotta show up to play the games and you gotta play well on the nights you do show up and the one thing about a best of five, it does kind of separate out the, the men from the boys. And girls too, if we had girls playing, but I think, well, we used to. We used to have some really cool girls playing. I wish they'd come back. But don't run them off this time, fellas. Meh. 2.17 left in the second period. We're still at 2-1. This has been pretty tightly played throughout this middle period. Much like regular hockey, hockey question mark is played in periods of three at a time in KHL Killer. Oh, with a beautiful shot, Will. Even it up at two at the two-minute mark of the second period. And a chance off the draw, and the save made. Still in front, several people waving at it. This will get sent away. And Argy Lou Who out there in front to herd that one in the opposite direction now. One minute and a half, and another chance for Susan's Lose the Fud Nuddlers. Oh, he had some defensive hassle. But he fights his way through it and gets the goal. Now on the other side, shot, safe, rebound in front, cleared away. Chance in front again. Oh, and a save made. The tip does not go. And KHL Killa will take the puck and move it through again. He backs off to the point. Putting a tree with it now. And this will go into the corner. Freedom Commie still holding possession. Hooked away. And Yemisov is going to get it back into play for them here. 
as Freedom Commies will continue the attack. And <laughs> see, this is where they're used to playing a 5v5 now. He, he sends one back up to the point, and there's nobody there. Um, HQML still played in the traditional 4v4, which is what you'll see in, in international play. But oh, how did that not go? But a chance here at the face off circle blocked. Oh, some pretty good chances as the second period comes to a close. But this one will be slammed back in the opposite direction to end the second. Three to two. Seuss is loose, has the lead. And this could be very interesting. We did say it was going to be. We tend not to lie about shit like that. It's, it's going to be at least interesting here on Friday Night Hockey. Or else why bother? Why would the millions of people who, who watch this stuff every week bother to watch? Now they'd go watch a stupid MOBA otherwise. Look at MOBAs, man. Aren't y'all tired of those yet? Shot score the Grinch! What a play. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Tay Zonday's performance of uh, of the song from the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. We'll go through the whole thing here. But the Freedom Commies now down by two as a result, and this is loose on the attack again. Two on one break. The Fud Nuddlers. A nice job of just holding that to the left side of the goalie, bearing in mind that the goalie can use their full body. And just putting it where he wasn't to make it 5-2, to two and Seuss is loose. Starting to pull away here. Here's the Fud Nuddlers again. Top shelf, where Mama keeps the cookies. Sam, I am two assists. The Fud Nullers, three goals. That's a hat trick. Six to two. This is the score. My goodness. I am almost speechless. Me too. Yeah, people thought the Freedom Commies would probably jump out early here. No, they don't have Matt with them tonight. I guess so. That slows them down a bit but they do have dick mcbutts dick mcboobits if you will and he will his second of the game make it six to three and they've got another chance here off the draw the shot oh what a save the rebound standing his ground dick mcboobits though is gonna finish it off too many opportunities in front of the net dick mcboobits The legendary player. Has got his team back within two here. So it looked like Seuss is loose was starting to pull away. And they almost got one there. But a big stop. Both goalies playing well for such a high scoring game. Himself takes this KHL killer now. Pass across, looking for Putin a tree, kind of splitting the difference between he and Dick McBoots. This is going to be the Grinch now. Battle along the wall, two minutes now, third period. Down by two, the Freedom Commies. Himself now to Putin a tree. We'll get this across to McBoobitz. 
of the stat spot. Wonderful. <laughs> Shot and save as this one pops over the net. We put in a tree now. Hang around. A the quick pass and all oh, the extra on it will carry it away. Now this puck is cleared. We near the end of the third period. This is game one of a best of five. Hoping to set the pace early is Seuss's loose. Had to fight their way in to this playoffs. Oh, sneaking it through, Dick McBoobitz. And there's that five hole we were talking about. So the Freedom Commies may not be done just yet in this first period. Under a minute. Down by one now. The tension mounts. Here he is, KHL Killa. He will fire this in. Putin a tree now. And he was setting up Dick McButts there, but he got bodied off of the position. Oh, and the shot off the post. On the other side, Forrest Seuss is loose. 24 seconds now. Dick McBoobitz with one more chance. Carries it across the line. Fire safe made. Nargi Lou Who. And that could be the game saver right there. Maybe not. Still time. Shot. Oh, nice. <laughs> he caught the pass coming in. And the follow up pass is blocked as well. So good team defense there to preserve the lead and the win in game one. This is loose. <laughs> and some frustration being uh, lodged about the goalie mod. Yes, it does change things up a lot. But I think in a, in a positive way. It means you really have to, it kind of puts it back on the shooters to kind of... Uh, find ways to get around that get around the goalie starting to see some uh oh great we're we're disconnecting here wonderful but we are keeping the recording going i know that uh there are some big storms going on right now and so hopefully we we can maintain our connection at least to the servers to keep this recorded but if we don't well, I don't know we'll, <laughs> we'll do our best for the sake of history but yeah we're oh this serious drop frames now so apologies to the folks who may be watching this live You're missing a good one as all the moves and the save. Okay, looking good again. Hopefully that will hold. But yeah, we could get zapped off the air at any minute just by the... Uh, there are some serious lightning strikes going on here. Like right overhead. Shot off the post. How did that not go in? Oh, 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 and so now working it the other way. Shot save. And the teams have changed colors. So now the Freedom Commies in blue. Seuss is loose in red. This shot will rattle off the side of the net. Follow up is blocked. Now trying to push this through will be Dick McBoobitz. A save will be made. So yeah, totally not confusing at all as the teams have uh, switched sides and switched colors. You know, to keep things even. So somebody doesn't have a uh, 
distinct advantage by having the the good side of the ice. I guess. You know, it's esports fan. That's how these things go. There are serious esports going on here as we're about halfway through this first period and still no score. As we may see things start to get a little more conservative here in this game too, or as conservative as they ever get on Friday Night Hockey. <laughs> you just never know. All right. Giraffe Killer asking if he should leave. We don't have rigid uh, rules about that like other leagues do. We're on the fastest internet backbone in the world here with the, at the Royale with Cheese Arena. Beautiful downtown Chicago, Illinois. So hopefully it is enough to withstand the throngs of onlookers who will be watching this. But hopefully they're watching the stream because, you know, we're doing a stream. We, we do it for the love, not just for the money. But it's nice when you know people watch this shit. That's great. That's extra icing on the cake for us here at the Independent Broadcast Network. First period winding down, though, and still 0 0. Seuss is loose. Took game one of this best of five. We are in game two right now. And a wild game one has kind of eased up a bit. It's a little bit more of a defensive struggle, so far at least. But that could change at any moment. Here is KHL kill a nice pass across. He's got room. Oh, just enough of a piece of that. Did Nargilu who get and the post did the rest. And that one, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. So 20 seconds now. And the Freedom Commies will have room to take another strike at this, maybe. Putin a tree going back, back, back with it. He will send this in the corner. And I think they were hoping for a rebound in front. Not able to get it. Putin a tree. One last chance here. Shot wide. We close the chapter on the first period and head to the second. So, yeah, it's it's anybody's game here, Ayla. Strategy? You know, Winters, as John Madden would say, the team that scores the most is the team that wins. Absolutely. A and with a 0-0 zero -zero game... You know, th that's very true. That's very astute, Ayla, as, as, as much as, as, as John Madden is. Uh, you do have to score goals to win. I mean, defense wins championships. We certainly saw that in the LHL this season. But in the end, at the end of the day, you do have to put points on the board. And Dick McBoobitz from the ridiculous angle. My goodness. Quite impressive, I must say. Oh, indeed. Yes, it looks like he, he might have got a deflection in. That was almost uh, right there on the red line back there. We have seen some great goals from Dick McBoobit, Dick McButts. Throughout the storied history of Friday Night Hockey and the HQML, but that one is just, that's right up there. That's going in his, his Hall of Fame induction. And it gives the Freedom Commies the lead here in the second period. A tenuous lead, though, as Seuss is loose. Looking to, they brought, <laughs> I think they both shot that puck. 
that was a collaborative shooting effort. But it was not to be. And the knuckler will drop behind the net. For Freedom Commies. Now turning, looking. Getting a cross and a good block there. Seuss is loose in front. And they will get this out quick. Fud Nuddlers. Oh, <laughs> a nice defensive play. They'll just tap that away. The poke check. KHL Killer now. Will advance this the opposite direction. <laughs> and the shot is stopped. Argue who these goalies are loving the goalie mod. You, you can really tell they're thriving with the goalie mod. It does help. I mean, being able to use your full body on saves is a uh, is a wonderful thing. And are we going to go to five games tonight? It is entirely possible the way these teams are matching up against each other. Um, you know, last week it really looked like the puck vendors had it in hand. They won two straight. They were looking to sweep the series. But then nice of Jerusalem coming back to win three in a row. They are in the finals. They await the victor of this playoff series tonight. One twenty-five now. Stolen chance. Working it at the face-off circle. Now along the boards. We'll send it across. Putin a tree wide open waiting for this one. And they're going to get the block. KHL Killer gets it back. And again. Trying to set something up with Dick McBoobitz. But again. We'll go back the other way. 49 seconds. And Freedom Commies reload. Maybe. Oh, a battle in the neutral zone. And taken away. So now they will switch sides here. Sam I am looking for the FUD Nuddlers. Finds him. That one. Stick will take it away. 24 seconds. Lots of back and forth here at the close of this middle period. Again, the FUD Nuddlers. KHL Killer. It will get it down to Dick McBoobitz. Oh, it goes past him, though. And this one will sail into the corner. We'll go to the third. And after a 6-5 to five game one, it is one to nothing in the second. Will one goal be enough? That is the real question that will have to be answered here in the next four minutes. Like you said, Ayla, it's about scoring goals. So far, only one goal scored, that goal being by the Freedom Commies. Now they're looking to add to that. But it will be cleared out, and it is Yimasov with the puck. We'll get that deflected by the Grinch, and that's going to give Yertle the turtle a chance. In too close, though. Yimasov with the save. Booting a tree now on the break. The shot, and oh, what a save. Fine, Argy Lou Who, with authority. He'll punch that out of there. So, carried around, Yertle the Turtle. We'll let this go in. KHL Killa will be there to take it back. Looking for Putin a tree who is breaking to the middle. He turns to try to get this back. 
Now a battle in the corner and a race for it. KHO Killer will peel off as Putin a Tree has this in hand. We'll dump it in. Here on the turtle now. Moving, sent across Sam I Am. Seeing some very good passing from both of these teams. But eventually somebody's going to have to make a play on the net. As the Grinch shields this from NHL Killa. And they're setting up a pretty good chance here for Freedom Commies to shot the score, Dick McBoobitz. How about that? Oh, hell yeah. Just a hard, angry shot from Dick McBoobitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh you guys okay all right so it's two to nothing <laughs> and the freedom commies will take the lead <laughs> oh it, it is a humorous league it is a humorous league i, I cannot deny that And a chance to add to their total. Now, as this one worked into the corner and across. And it will be Dick McBoobitz. He will try to forehand to backhand this. And it will be KHL Killa taking it instead. And he will take his time with this. They do, the two-goal lead is... A pretty good lead in a game as tightly played as this game two has been. So we're looking at if they can hold on, then we're tied at one game to one. And seeing a best of three, then it'd just be oh, whoever wins the next game, right? So, you yeah. know. Is there enough drama in that? I don't know. I just don't know. I think there's plenty of drama when you are taking a 1-1 into a best of five, though. And that is about to be what happens here if the Freedom Commies can hold on to this lead with one minute left in regulation. Zeus is loose, now getting in close. Trying to press the issue in the Freedom Commie zone. And they will do so here. Dropped in front, shot! Will go wide. Oh, oh. And a pass across Dick McBoobitz just beyond his blade, but he will gain the puck. Once he is in the zone, and with 24 seconds, oh, it tries to sneak one past and stuff it home. But it was not to be 11 seconds. And it turns out that it won't matter because Freedom Commies will take the W in game two. We're going to game three tied at one game to one. Ah, this is something else. There's some very competitive playoffs this season in HQML. So one of these teams has to win two games. Two more games, that is, to advance. I love that we're just getting right into it. No bio breaks, no crazy speeches by each team to, to fire each other up. No, we're just getting right into game three, right into the action, right into the eSports here on the Independent Broadcast Network. Again, we want to thank you for joining us. 
Winners with one, Ayla, the Dream Team. If nothing else, we are consistent. And so Freedom Commies will stay in blue here in game two. Zeus is loose in red. So I guess they're not alternating. I don't, I don't know uh, what the system is on this. But as long as you can tell at home and, and we can tell here, it's all good. KHL Killer with the back skating move, and they'll try to get one in front for Dick McBoobitz. Faces a double team. And Zeus is loose coming away with it. Sam I am taking this one up the boards. Long shot. Oh, a chance. And Yertle the Turtle just not able to pull the trigger on that. Laid in beautifully, though. And now they'll try that backboard trick. To no avail. And the puck goes to Putin a tree. He's going to sit in in front. KHL killer. The big save. I believe that is Bipo no Bungus in the net now. So they have uh, switched things out on Seuss's Loose. But he uh, makes a very aggressive save. And that was a good play. Now sent out, dumped in. The Grinch will give chase. Yemisov will push this one around to Putin a tree. He has options, and his first option will be to just send the backhand there at Bipo Nobungus, who will make the stop. And so the Freedom Commies, <laughs> you guys know you can pass to each other, right? <laughs> Oh, Dick McBoots in rare form tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, in uh, in his play and in, in his bants. You have to have sick bants. That's, that's key, I think. <laughs> oh, man. So here we go. NHL killer. At the center stripe, we'll take this. They will move it in. And a good opportunity here. Oh, and a play as Dick McBoobitz. The patience. To just hang on to that puck. The stick handling to work it around. Wow. Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, and it is one to nothing. The Freedom Commies take the lead on that goal. Everybody was expecting the shot early on, but they just kind of turned the blade around. Moved a couple of feet across the crease. And tucked it around, Bipo Nobungus. 53 seconds. Shot save, Sammy. Or Yemisov. <laughs> uh, the Freedom Commies have been a fun team all season. And chances here. A couple of shots there. Nothing doing. So back at center ice, Yemisov will take this and dump it in. They will try to get the offensive play moving quickly. 19 seconds. They will have to do it quickly. But it will be Seuss's loose instead. And this one lodges its way next to the post. 
Shot the other way. We'll go wide. Jim the first. Game three, your score is one to nothing. Remember, we are tied at one game to one. The bants continue. <laughs> but the Grinch off the draw shoots and scores. Interesting. Most certainly. <laughs> so we are tied at one. The Grinch wasting no time getting things going in the second period of a crucial game three. Now in the corner, sent across the middle, and the shot there off the post, up and rolling, and knocked away. So the Freedom Commies We'll have to regather their forces here. And that's what they do. At the blue line now, the shot will go wide right. Now in the corner, the Grinch will go ahead and launch one. Hanson front will be shoved into the corner. And this one's going on net. Bippo no bungus. Oh, he's got to get that out of there. And he does. But the rebound attempt. What a play by NHL Killer. All the moves. The forehand, the backhand, and just the pimp slap of a goal in front of the net. With the assist from Dick McBoob, it's two to one. Wow. This is something else. It sure is. We're seeing some really good goals in this series. Great work by both of these teams. You wanted esports. We said. There would be esports. We were not bullshitting you. You're seeing some serious fucking esports tonight here on the Independent Broadcast Network. A network that was partially invented so that people could say fuck. So, my bad. I should be saying fuck a lot more. Hey, over a decade of tradition. Well, we've been here for, uh, part of the IBM for wow, four years I think it started four years ago where has the time gone Ailey you've been here at least two years now so yeah we're we're, we're salty veterans not, not a lot of salt but veterans nonetheless Plenty of salt on the ice, though, as things are getting a little bit physical, as they tend to do. And the shot to save Bippo no Bungus, and a beauty. But they still need to clear this puck out of their zone. Finally, they will. The Grinch, tapping the stick on the ice, waiting for it, gets it, sends it across. Oh, stolen here. Chance, possibly, as the Freedom Commies. Well, lay one in front. Oh, ho, ho. as Putin a tree with a beautiful pass just finds his way right in the middle of the defense. Dick McBoobitz will do the rest, and it is three to one.
So the second period. A little bit of time here. Shot safe, Bip on Obongas. And Freedom Commies still attacking. That's what they do. From each according to their abilities to each according to their needs. And for as far as abilities, we're, we're seeing a lot of them. And we're seeing a lot of them coming from Dick McBoobitz. And with eight seconds left, will there be time for another one here? Nope, it's gonna go in the corner. We'll go to the third. So an important game three. Right now is looking very good for the Freedom Commies. And now everybody says, they have bad ping. So, there's always that part of the game where, where people have bad ping. <laughs> you know, the Knights of Jerusalem, uh, uh, there was a uh, talk from the puck vendors last week about having bad ping, and then it was pointed out that at least two of the members of Knights of Jerusalem were playing from overseas and had 150 plus pings. So, that kind of uh, was a good argument in, in that case. But I don't know. We've been talking about there. There seems to be something. It may just be net-wide node congestion. I don't know because the, there have been ping issues on all the different servers and in different places. So I... I don't know you know we've looked at it we've looked at it here with the royale cheese server and you know is there anything server side that would be affecting it and the answer is no oh what a stop the rebound chance oh what a save and another chance and another stop good lord the shots are flying in front and bippo no bungus and the Freedom Commies are, are <laughs> stymied there. I mean, goalie Pippo Nobungus and the stellar defense. Or Seuss is loose. So they got that part down. They just need to get a couple of goals here. In regulation, they've got three minutes of time to do it. Or else the Freedom Commies are going to take a lead in this series. Long shot. Save made. So it begins. But it's going to be KHL Killa. He's all out there alone. And this... Oh, 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 oh. oh just across the line. But not over the line. So no goal. But they will get the puck back here. And again, trying that centering pass. Seuss is loose there to stop that. We go down to the two-minute mark. A wild one here in a very wild series. And the puck disappears in the skies over the Royale Cheese Arena. Plops back in. <laughs> the Grinch was looking for the shot off the bounce there, the big bounce. But instead it will be Dick McBoobitz working it in the opposite direction. And they're going to key on him as they know that he has been the primary go-to guy for goal scoring for the Freedom Commies tonight. Yeah, they're going to be looking for him. Pass stolen. Do get it back. Moving it through. 
It will go back to the stick of Dick McBoobitz. Where is he going to take this? And go up to the point, KHL Killa. One minute now, dumps it in. They're looking for the bounce in front. Instead, cleared away. Race for it now. Back behind the net, a bounce in front is going to lead to a shot attempt. That will bounce harmlessly off the side of the net and now an empty net will greet this wide shot coming in the backhander will not go 27 seconds dick mcboobitz again he will feed this across beautifully and the shot just high and over 16 seconds now putin a tree he will go ahead and just uh, the veteran they will let time expire. Keep this puck out of danger. And the Freedom Commies will take a 2-1 to one lead in this series. Which puts them one game away from the finals. We're very excited about the finals. Absolutely. Seriously. The finals. <laughs> so it looks like we might be taking a bit of a break in the action here. But don't go away. As a pivotal game, we went from a crucial game three, now we'll be going to a pivotal game four. The sounds of Nick's, aka Dopey G, carrying us into game four of this HQML playoff series. What a series it has been. So we are the, let's see, where are we at here? Two games to one. The Freedom Commies currently with the lead. And can they hold on against Seuss's Loose? Now, Seuss's Loose took game one. And the Freedom Commies now with two in a row. If my math is correct, yes, it is best of five to determine who will face the Knights of Jerusalem in the HQML Finals, which will be next week. That is a best of five. And it will be on this channel. Shot say, oh, but Dick McBoobitz. Ready to say he made the save. 
as Bippo and Obungus did get the stick on that. But the momentum of the shot propels it into the upper corner. And that's a goal for the Freedom Commies. Wow. Yes, wow. And a big authoritative save from Yemisoft there for FC. This puck pushed into the other end. Again, Freedom Commies on the attack. Weird bounce! And Bippo Nobungus has to battle that unstable puck. So now looking for the breaking pass there. They had KHL Killa ready for it. And now he will await this one. Does gain the puck and the line. Right now they are just trying to force this through the neutral zone. As don't back in. It will be Putin a tree. Assuming that he does get to this first. He does. He's got room. He will chip it through. And oh, they had him set up. Dick McBoobitz in front. But again, no dice. Putin a tree. He will send it across. And oh, 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 the save made. And he was trying to do the, the spin move. And that gave them time to react in front. So yeah, it was, uh, the attempt looked pretty. So now two minutes left in the first period. The Grinch taking this puck, but getting it taken away. Oh, look at the two-man passing here. The shot to save, though, as Bippo Nobungus coming up big again. And this is when you want your goalie to come up big. It's right about now, and he is doing it. Goalie mod. Too strong, too strong. Hopefully, uh, something like this will will be implemented in the in the newer versions of Hockey Question Mark, which is being worked. What a shot there by the Grinch! The push them one way, pegs the corner the other way, and that is just a high quality shot from the Grinch. Tie this thing up at one. With about a minute left in the first period. My goodness. Hockey question mark you all. Absolutely. And again, yeah, big storms here locally. So, yeah, hopefully that doesn't uh, deter our uh, coverage of the proceedings. Because what a proceedings they have been. Freedom Commies trying to ice this series and punch their ticket to the finals. And the shot there will go just wide. But they will hang on to it again. Looking for that centering pass, the one-timer. And they will be content to dump this in and hold on to it. KHL Killa. Across now. They've got options. Oh, the blocked shot will go right to Putin a tree. He will throw a backhander at him. It goes just wide. Circling, firing back in to end the first period, tied at one. This has been a, a series that. Well, well, you hope the playoffs are good, right? You you expect the teams that make it this far to to really put on a show. And on both nights of the HQML playoffs, I think we have not been disappointed. I love that they showed up for the playoffs. That's wonderful. The Grinch 
The moves, the shot, the deke, the score is second of the game. And the second for his team, Yerl the Turtle, will get the assist. How about that? Should I be surprised or not? I, I, mm, this is a good team. We, we've talked about it. Uh, they're a, a resilient team. I mean, they had to, like we said, they, they struggled. There was a three-way tie for fourth place. They had to fight their way through an extra week of play on a wild card night. And like I said, most importantly, they, they fucking showed up. They brought a whole team. Which, as it turns out, helps a lot. Showing up is half the battle on HQML. And just great work to, to make their way here and to play the top-seeded team, the Freedom Commies, and play them so well, so... Is this a league game? Is it? Yeah, Jeet Lore is confused by the fact that it's 4v4. Uh, <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. I love the, the, uh, the way that hockey has always been played. <laughs> oh, it is uh, frightening and confusing to, to our newer viewers. But, oh man, the hammer in front from Dig McBoobitz ties this up at two. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, everything used to be 4v4. It, it was uh, kind of the way the game was played. But a, a few seasons ago, it was proposed in LHL to start trying a 5v5. It was an experiment that has turned out to be a success. So we weren't really sure. We weren't sure. But it's made for some very good games. It works very well with the North American style. But internationally, the game is still played with four-man teams, or four-person teams, if you will. But yeah, you can see sometimes uh, the guys are, are so used to 5v5 now that you know they'll, they'll rotate around and then suddenly the, they'll, they'll pass to a spot where they're expecting somebody to be, but they're not there because, you know, one less player. Oh, the move across Dick McBoobitz. He has a hat trick here. And again, just... Uh, I feel like Eddie Olchick. For all you young players at home, watch this. Yeah, the, the, the patience. He, he doesn't... You know, get the, the wide eyes when he sees an open spot. He, he takes his time... You know, draws the goalie in, and then shoots. And often, he scores. In this case, he scored and puts his team in the lead. Oh, a chance there on the quick pass. But not quite. So we go to the one-minute mark of the second period. Three to two. The commies with a two one lead in the series, hoping to advance with a win here. Zeus is loose. Played very well in this series. And oh a collision there. We'll take both players off the puck. It is regained. And blocked. Chance here. Shot blocked again. And he will send it back. Ho oh, ho. And not able to get that on the stick. It will be shot wide. 12 seconds. 
Somebody's trying to figure out why Debezi isn't on the Freedom Comics. Well, he's on the Puck Benders, and they played an excellent game or an excellent series last week. And these Puck Benders are a good team. We hope that we see them again next season because I think they a move here and there, and they've got the makings of a potential champion. And so, potential champions on board tonight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that one will travel behind the net. <laughs> the Freedom Commies with a one goal lead. Zeus is loose on the brink of elimination. Can they get something going here in regulation time? The 420 mark, plenty of time. But the Freedom Commies will be attacking once again. Pippo Nobungus will do the sweeping motion to follow this out of the net. Girl the Turtle. Moving it, shooting it. Oh, they were looking for the tip. But not able to get that. Might have been better left alone. That hindsight is 2020. How many cliches can we throw into a hockey cast? It turns out a bunch. A whole bunch. Here is KHL Killer. He will feed this across. And this one drifting in. Dick McBoobitz will take possession. And where's he going to go with this? The save made. The butt save as Bippo Nobungus turns his back to it. <laughs> the, the Mickey Minaj save right there. As this one's sent back in the other way. Bippo Nobungus will get a touch on the puck again. And we'll see if the Freedom Commies... And do something here in the Seuss's Loose zone. No, it will go back. Here comes Yertle the Turtle. We'll fire this in. Dump and chase. And again, you know, that lack of an extra player. The backhand of this, an empty net. Dig McBoobitz, four goals. His easiest one of the night. He says, thank you very much. My goodness. Well played right there. Yeah, and that one. Oh, my. That is five for Dick McBoobitz. Five for his team, and he is carrying the Freedom Commies to victory right now. Well, he's got some help there. KHL Killa has been fantastic. So finding the open space for him. And he does the rest. So Putin a tree. I mean, this is a good team. This is a very, very good team. And even without Matt, they are a formidable squad. And they've got a three-goal lead here. And they are one minute and 46 seconds away from a spot in the HQML finals next week against the Knights of Jerusalem. Wow, that's, oh, man, that's a... That's going to be a great finals. But we can't put the crown on them just yet. Seuss still does have time here. They just really haven't had their offense going like it was in the early going of this series. They're trying. They're getting things through the crease, but not really towards the net. So they reload here with one minute left. Shot blocked. And, oh, some disturbances there at the blue line. And the shot across. And again, piercing the crease, but not much more. So this may be the end of the line for Seuss's Loose. After a, a great season, 
uh, a scrappy well fault six hundred KHL killer from downtown. Interesting. I would have to agree. Oh. Just so somebody besides Dick McBud scores there, KHL killer, he had uh, quite a few assists. And a four goal lead. I think that is going to do it. The Freedom Commies, who led the league all season long, will advance to the HQML Season 10 Finals. Or they will play Knights of Jerusalem next week here on this very channel. We hope that you will join us. They are not done scoring, perhaps, maybe. No, Bipona Bungus. Actually, the Grinch was back there to make that stop. But yes, put it in stone. That is the victory and the series. Quite a series it was. Uh, Got to give a nod to Seuss's Loose. Very well played. And they have some great players too. And <laughs> this is why people don't want to play HQ. Is this why? Really? That's why? That's why? No. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, the finals are next week. And it will be a best of five. And we will see these same Freedom Commies in action against KOG. Nice of Jerusalem that they really, uh, yeah, they felt like they were denied that win at Season 9. They abbreviated Season 9. So they are hungry. And as it turns out, this Freedom Commies team is too. So, if you didn't get to see all the action tonight, be sure and follow us on YouTube. Go to IBN Casting on YouTube and you can see this game and many others on our channel, as well as other programming with more to come. Uh, don't forget to follow us at IBN Casting on Twitter and Winners of the One on Twitter. And, of course, IBN Ayla, she's up to, oh, she's going for 200, going for 200. And what else? I believe that is it. I think we can put this one in the books. But we want to thank everybody who has joined us for a wonderful playoff series. And the, both playoff series were fantastic. We will see you next week. Good night. Night, night.